Hassan bin Ahmed, what an absolute pleasure it is to have you here on Life Beats and congratulations on another successful edition of Exposure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, it's interesting because uh, I've spoken to so many photographers from last year. They came here. These are some of the world's greatest photographers. And each one that I spoke to told me that this festival was one of the best that they had ever been to anywhere in the world. So talk to us about where the idea for exposure came from and how it's grown to become one of the greatest photography festivals in the world. Well, as you know, uh, we started four years ago and uh, we always thought that photography has something to do with uh, journalism and uh, especially with, with our uh, uh, office, we thought that this would be the perfect combination. So we focused on journalism and the photojournalism and then we, when we looked deeper into uh, what we uh, need to uh, show people, we found out that uh, even photojournalism uh, has to include fashion, has to include uh, portraits, has, uh, has to include everything else, even landscape, uh, architecture. So you see that in the newspaper, you see that in uh, different magazines. So photography is actually more than, than just uh, photojournalism. So we decided to combine all that into one festival and have everyone come and learn from it and enjoy it at the same time. And also, uh, if they have a chance to buy a few things uh, that they would uh, love to see. Because this is the thing, it, it encompasses everything. You can everything. find, you know, the latest photography equipment here. Exactly. You can uh, find workshops, you know, with some of the masters as well. True, and it's uh, it's a good thing for uh, people who already know some of the uh, uh, big names uh, of the photographers that come here. They haven't met them, but it's uh, easy to come and, uh, you know, just uh, meet them or uh, come attend one of their sessions or uh, even a workshop that they are doing. Uh, it's, it's an opportunity for everyone who loves photography. Absolutely. And uh, when we talk about people who love photography, you are somebody who really has a deep passion for it. You know, you, you come every day when the festival is on, you talk to the photographers, you're looking at the equipment. So talk to us a little bit about where that comes from. Well, this is one of my favorite uh, uh, events that happens in Sharjah and I love uh, photography. Uh, I actually learned a lot from, uh, from exposure and uh, by uh, talking to different artists, by uh, attending the uh, sessions that they have. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't attend any workshops, but uh, the sessions uh, helped me a lot. Uh, talking to the artists uh, helped me to uh, understand how a picture should come out how a picture would be more effective if uh, seen this way or the other way. Uh, so yes, this, uh, this festival is different. This festival in includes uh, uh, technology, includes art, includes uh, uh, big names, uh, includes um, even um, uh, different companies that come here and exhibit their uh, technology that, that they uh, offer uh, on stage. So uh, it it uh, groups everyone. Uh, you don't have to be a, a photographer to be here. You can just love the uh, pictures. You can just uh, be someone who, who's looking for a, a specific uh, thing for photography that you can buy here. Or someone who wants to attend and learn more about photography. Someone who wants to be in a workshop. Someone who would just like to stroll around and uh, look at the nice photos around the galleries that we have here. So it's a festival for everyone children, uh, adults, uh, photographers, amateurs, everyone. It really is for absolutely everybody. And it's not just, just one genre, as you were saying. You know, exactly. you've got fashion, fine art photography, journalism, photojournalism. Um, Estras M. Suarez, who is yes. a multi-Pulitzer Prize winning journalist, a photojournalist, you know, he was here last year, he's here again this year, which yes. is so exciting. Douglas Dubler, mm -hmm. uh, you know, who was here as well. Uh, so many, J. Henry Fair, who, you know, was creating photos for the environment as well, exactly. but were stunning, stunning photos. David Burnett, the names that go on and on and on. Exactly, yeah. The, um, we always focus on the, uh, not just the names, but the, the what, what they can offer. And of course, those are big names because they offer a lot and uh, that's why we have them here. And that's why uh, a lot of people come just to see the uh, photographer, uh, not only the, uh, the photographs, because they've seen the photographs everywhere, but uh, 
the photographer by himself coming here and explaining to us how he took those uh, pictures are something that you don't find anywhere else. And we were very happy because uh, now all of those photographers, uh, we try to treat them very well. <laughs> uh, even one of them said that uh, you're, you're giving me a room. I usually go and stay sleep in the closet and just come to the event. Where here you're just giving us rooms and uh, transportation and uh, you know different things. But this is how uh, we treat everyone here in Sharjah and exactly. in the Emirates. So uh, by them being here, they are now our ambassadors out there. They talk about Sharjah. We were very, uh, uh, we were very happy to hear that some of the uh, people that we contacted, we asked them if they wanted to be in exposure, and we, we were ready to explain what exposure is. And they are like, we know what exposure is. We've heard it from this guy or from that guy or we, we've heard about it uh, on the radio or on the news so it's uh, building its name by itself now mm. so like I said we have our ambassadors as well that talk about the, uh, the festival. This year the theme we're looking at a world without photography that is the hashtag that is being shared right now so talk to us about how this theme was chosen and the power of an image what does that mean to you? Well the, the, we had the uh, we had a marketing plan which was very successful that mm. uh, we called a world without uh, photography and uh, several newspapers came out the same day uh, with a lot of uh, details but no photographs so you had the first page and the last page uh, with uh, some uh, news but with a blank uh, space for uh, photograph and that was done just to uh, uh, let people know how important photography is and how important the picture is. Uh, you, you kind of read whatever is there and then you don't see the picture. So you only get the information. Mm -hmm. You don't get the feeling through the picture. Uh, and th that's the message we're trying to send out there that uh, photography in this era uh, is even stronger than words. It's, uh, it's, it sends you messages not only of what's happening but also of the feeling uh, that you can uh, feel if you were in the same place. Um, we saw that with different photographers that came here. Uh, David Burnett, for example, when he started talking about uh, the little girl who, uh, who was in uh, Vietnam and took, uh, a lot of people took her picture, but one photographer uh, not only took the picture, but even the emotions from the picture and showed it to us. Uh, so you, you get a lot from the picture uh, that you don't get from the text itself. It's interesting, you know, uh, last year we saw Lawrence Jackson a former White House photographer, you yes. know, and he exhibited some stunning photographs of President Obama, Michelle Obama, you know, in situations where it's an insight, you know, you would yes. never be able to read about that. When you see the image, it says so much how they interacted with people, you know, the change that they were making, you exactly. know, the, the landmark moment, it was stunning to see. And, and he must be very uh, trusted by them as well because uh, you know a photographer can uh, take uh, different kind of uh, pictures at different times and uh, he can send the wrong message as well and uh, you know I think he, he was uh, telling us how uh, he, he would be uh, taking the picture uh, right waiting for the right moment to take the picture uh, we see a lot of people just taking snaps and then uh, uh, you know thinking it's uh, a good picture to post or to share uh, not realizing that uh, the emotions that are in the picture sometimes gives a negative uh, uh, feeling about it. Uh, but that's something we learned also from attending this uh, festival every year. Exactly. There is so much to learn. But speaking of trust, yes. last year when I interviewed Douglas Dubler, he is of course a fine art and fashion photographer, you know, his quest for um, perfection and greatness in his photography is incredible it, it is, is phenomenal it and is. then he has photographed everybody from elizabeth taylor to brooke shields to iman you name it he has photographed them now when i asked him who would you like to photograph next and he said to me Sheikh Sultan bin Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he was being nice. but <laughs> He was not. And I can okay. tell you because, uh, you know, he is a man who does not mess about with his words. Yes. When he means it, when he, he likes something or admires somebody, he really, truly means it. So, and when he said that, I knew it was going to happen because Douglas, if he is after something, he makes he it happen. It. Yes. <laughs> so talk to us. This actually happened, you know, during the festival last year. He did take your portrait. 
and it was an incredibly beautiful portrait. But there was a lot going on behind the scenes well, there. Well, yeah, well, you know, for, for a photographer to take a, a portrait, he needs the uh, right setting, the right time, and uh, he had to, uh, you know, uh, pin me down and uh, tell me exactly when he wanted to have this uh, picture taken and where. So we had to leave uh, just before sunset and walk all the way to the uh, beach uh, where it was perfect lighting and he had one of his assistants also carrying uh, a reflector so he can get the right amount of light. You know, a lot, a lot of things goes into a picture than just uh, picking a camera and just uh, shooting, which a lot of things that we might not know about. Uh, but he, he was he was good. I mean, you uh, you find a good photographer not only by the pictures that he takes, but also by uh, how he deals with the person who is in front of him. If you're relaxed, then the picture comes out nice. But if you're really stressed and you have a fake smile on your face, uh, it, it'll never be a, a nice picture. It's so true. It will never yeah. be any good. It's about that connection. Exactly. There has to be the human connection, right? Exactly. Yeah, definitely. Without that, uh, you can't take the right picture. And never. So what was amazing, on his Facebook, he actually posted the behind the scenes shots yes. of you know carrying the reflectors and you standing there on the corniche. And yeah. You know, I have to see that, I haven't seen that. <laughs> I have to send it to you because it was amazing. You know, he showed us what goes into that and he actually said there was like a two minute window that yes, exactly. he had to actually take the shot, the perfect shot with the perfect lighting. True, true. I mean, uh, there's a lot that a photographer does uh, that we don't know about. Yeah. For example, just like you mentioned, uh, the two minute uh, limit. Without that, he wouldn't get a, a nice picture. Mm -hmm. Even on stage, we had a, a lot of photographers who uh, would take just one picture and that's, uh, it'll turn out uh, perfect. Uh, to the extent that we said, okay, next year we want him to take our uh, portrait because he knows how to take pictures. But it's always about the setting, it's always about the lighting, it's always about the, uh, the connection that he has with, his, uh, with the person he's taking picture of. So it's, it's more than just a camera that he's holding. And for these people, it's decades of practice. Exactly. They have decades. Each one has decades under their belt of experience. Exactly. It, it comes naturally to yeah. them where we have to uh, think about the, uh, you know, uh, how to position our subject and, uh, you know, the different things that you need to focus on. Uh, uh, on uh, in the picture before you just take any picture. So I need to ask you, you know, you where does your passion for images come from? What kind of photographs do you love to take? Well, I, I like to take a lot of uh, kind of uh, photographies. I like to take um, photographs of um, animals. I like li landscape, night photography is something I'm experimenting with. Uh, I like, uh, uh, I just like to travel and uh, you know, document uh, the places that I go to, uh, and then try to see if I, if I get nice pictures out of them. And I learned a lot from exposure. Actually, I, I learned a, lo uh, a lot from uh, uh, sitting with big names, uh, asking them questions. And that's something we do here for everyone, where anyone can come to exposure and bring their uh, pictures, and they have a session with someone who can tell them how to improve on their pictures. So I had the uh, I'm lucky to have a chance to sit with most of the. Uh, or almost all of the photographers and uh, ask them questions. Uh, yeah, so that's how I try to improve on my photography. What were some of the criticisms that you got that you thought, okay, I have to do this differently, tell me. Uh, usually it, it uh, goes to uh, how to position my subject or the light that I need to, uh, you know, focus on. Uh, but yeah, I, sometimes the photographers, uh, they become nice and they just tell me it's a nice picture. But I, I, I like to hear it from different people so I know that it's really a nice picture. Yeah. And uh, yeah, like I said, I, I just learned from everyone here. I love that because you can actually, you can book a session, you know, with yes. the photographers, bring your portfolio, have them look at it, which is True. phenomenal. True, That's yeah. amazing. You can, uh, you can book a session and uh, uh, improve on what you have. And we had this, I think last year we started that and we're doing it again this year as well. You know, as we were saying, exposure has grown so much every year and this year is the biggest that it has ever been. Talk to us about some of the photographers that you are most looking forward to seeing. Yeah, it is the biggest. Uh, we've uh, added more space and we have more people exhibiting. We have uh, uh, 
people from everywhere coming. We have people from uh, all over the world, we have uh, photographers from all over uh, the world, and we have uh, even participants in our award as well uh, from all over uh, the world. And uh, we've reached almost uh, 14,000, more than 14,000 actually, 14,700 and something people who, are, who uh, uh, we have their pictures and we went through and we actually uh, decide who the winner would be. Are you on the, the judging panel? No, I'm not. And this is something <laughs> that we do, that uh, we, we try not to interfere with any, uh, uh, any of the judgments that, uh, that are being made. So all of the judges are professional uh, photographers that we deal with. No one uh, on the panel is from our office or anything. So there's no... They're uh, all independent. All independent, exactly. More than 350 photographers. Can you talk to us a little bit about some of your favorite photographers and why you love them so much? Uh, I can't choose because, uh, you know, especially in the process of... Uh, now it's easier when they're here uh, to go to certain uh, ones and, uh, you know, pick the one that you uh, want to speak to or talk to. But uh, even before that, uh, weeks before we started this uh, festival, you have to go through hundreds of photographers and choose just a few of them. Uh, and that's the hard part because uh, you might like uh, 100 and then you'll have to choose just 10 out of them. Uh, so we always have uh, people who are not available or people who are too busy to come or people who are willing to come but we don't have the space for them so there's always next year. And uh, yeah, so I don't have a particular person in mind but uh, I like to uh, you know, see different uh, genres of photography and then decide who, uh, who to talk to. Well, there's so much to explore. But are we going to be seeing any of your photographs up on the walls in exposure? Well, you, you'll, you are going to see, well, if, if, if you go around, you'll see uh, one wall uh, that has uh, the pictures of all of the staff of our office. So I'll be uh, in there with them as in well. In there somewhere. Yes, so well, I can't wait to spot it. <laughs> we do have a lot of talented photographers in our uh, office. So we decided this year that, uh, you know, we'll have a one uh, wall with all the photographs of uh, our colleagues. We're so excited for this edition of Exposure, the International Photography Festival. Sheikh Sultan bin Ahmed, thank you so much and thank enjoy. You. Thank you. You enjoy as well. Thank you. <laughs>